Hello, everyone. If you're anything like me, um, you're probably struggling a whole lot with GA4. I just had the fun experience of trying to uh, have mine try to come over from Wix. So not a lot of people use Wix. My old website was with Wix. We're trying to transition it over to another uh, another website provider. Uh, if you don't know anything about Wix, they claim to be a website, uh, fully responsive. They're not. Uh, so don't use Wix, bottom line. Uh, so as I'm trying to do this, trying to follow the instructions is like trying to follow a map that has like, you know, trying to, you know, have this line be straight. It's ridiculous. So as I go to the help uh, inside of Google, try to find the help, you know, blogs, the forums, whatever, they're less than helpful as anyone that's followed GA4 this much knows that they're not helpful at all. So first off, I get here, this is one of the things, first off, what happens if, if you have a, CMS hosted website, or um, it's a website builder that has to look a certain way versus if it's not, so you're trying to go through. And if you scroll down here, you get into the, the, the W's, so you're like, oh, it's not there. There's another site that you go through and it's Wix isn't even included. So then I went and Googled it and it, you get up, you know, I, Wix's little thing gets there. And this is, I'm trying to follow it. I'm fairly intuitive. If someone is not, doesn't know Google at, at all, they're, they're not gonna be able to follow this. So originally did the video, as I'm going through all of a sudden, boom, I find this page that all of a sudden it's Wix is in the middle of it. Why on earth it doesn't have it alphabetized? I don't know why, don't ask. It doesn't make any sense to me, but nothing about GA4 makes sense. So I went back and I was like, let me just redo this. So when you click on Wix here, this will bring up, uh, it takes you down all the way down here. So I'm actually just gonna show you here. So it takes you down here, more or less, it's just getting the information out here because this stuff is so freaking confusing. It's it drives you to drinking instead of having a smoothie in here. I'm gonna end up putting tea those or something else. But uh, I was just a nap all week, decompressing and had a lot of wine. So we're at this point detoxing. So no vodka. So as you go through here, uh, I've got a little time here. I just want to walk you everyone through this. If you do have Wix or you have anybody, any other, whatever provider you have, make sure you go through and look. If you haven't done this already, go through and look and say, okay. Who do we, which provider do I have hosting my website provider? Provide, provide, how many times can I say that in the next 10 seconds? Click on it and it's gonna walk you through to an extent, to an extent because you do have to use a little bit of your noggin to figure out what the hell I'm doing because it's not super intuitive. So um, we'll take Wix for, for example, it does go through, go through here. Once you go into admin, it goes through. So if you have, for instance, let's just go over here. I'll take, uh, once you go in there, go to admin, I'm gonna go account settings. It will have the setup assistant. Mine is already set up, but from there, um, you get here. If your property settings are already set up, great. If not, from there, what you're gonna do is don't necessarily follow all these instructions because they're kind of confusing, is from there, if it's already set up, hit open connected property. If not, it will say, um, I wanna say it says like, set up or create or something like that. It, I'm sure it says right here, what does it say? Uh, create a property. Then once you hit create a property, you're gonna name it, name it whatever. I think I just put my name and then like GA4, so I knew what it was. Put your, if it's, you know, what's uh, daily savings time or uh, central time zone or whatever you are, uh, then put what industry you are, hit apply, kind of put, there's other stuff I'm kind of breezing through this, but just kind of give you an idea because that's a lot of crap right there to read through and it gets, it's, it's easier to see it and visualize it than to read all that crap. So from there, then you're gonna hit open uh, property and I'm gonna make sure I hit there because once you do that, it's gonna bring up this data stream. You're like, where's the data stream? I got really confused. I was like, well, where the hell's the data stream? You have to actually open that to open up the data stream. So from there, once you do that, this is gonna take a second to bring up here. Wait for it, wait for it. Why that's bringing up? Um, a lot of this stuff is like, where is it? You just kind of have to play around if you like, you, you can go over like this. I'm gonna bring this up big here. You can go like that and hit data stream. So you can also open it up and it'll bring it up the other way as well. So I'm going to go back to here or maybe I'm not. Maybe I am. Wait for it. It's a fun guessing games at game, everyone. What is Brooke going to do next? No, no, no. We're not going to find out together. So you'll see here when I hit open up, you can see over here that there's a bunch of stuff over here. I can see my, my GA4 property. I've got connect property, disconnect, and I've got all my information over here. If I were to do the other way, like they said, you can do it that way as well. Um, I can get into my information here and this is going to bring up all the information on my GA4 property. Once again, it's, it's just getting to know where you're clicking. We're so used to do regular GA. It's like, where the hell do I click? I'm not really sure where to click. I just want to make sure you were able to see where all that stuff was. 
Um, so now I go back to going to where they said was the data streams. I click on data streams. So I'm gonna cut, come back down here. So now I've got the data stream, right? And this is where you're gonna put in your uh, website, uh, what it is, you know, if it's you know, ESPN.com or whatever it would be. In this case, it's bzconsultantsgroup.com. I've got the information there. I'm gonna put that in there. The next thing is you're gonna put, you know, what are you measuring? Or, or sorry, you gotta go through and put enhanced measurement and you're gonna start putting uh, toggling things on and off a little bit here. So from there, I'm going to hit this. And then from there, you have the option to en enable or disable enhanced measurement, uh, whether it's, you know, what it's collecting uh, views or other events. Once the stream has been created, you can always go back and, and disable or do this on your, you know, a letter date. You're going to click stream, and then you're going to paste this GID into Google Analytics in the, in the Wix provided um, area. Now it says that, but there's one other thing you've got to still do. So it says like, oh, just go and do that. But that's not exactly true. From there, I'm actually going to click on this. So it brings up the other page here. I already have it up, but just so you can see that it opens up here. From there, you actually have another step is that you've actually got to go into, uh, not that one. Um, you've got to go in, you've created all this stuff. This, I believe already does it for you. Like it's saying, how do you want to interact, whatever. Is this portion right here is once you're under enhanced measurement, you've got to go through and check this stuff off here. Is that inside of analytics if you click on the little button here once again uh, if you kind of had to look for it it's under when you're under the create thing and you hit the little thing right here this little uh, sprocket looking thing you've got to go through here and hit show advanced settings you uncheck here and from there you're going to go down again to site search you're going to toggle that off and hit save i think that's it let's make sure i haven't missed anything and then then from there you're going to copy your measurement stream id then you're going to go into wix if from there if you uh there should be down here if you click it if you're already signed into your wix uh dashboard if you click open this it's going to bring open wait for it wait for it your marketing integrations into your wix dashboard from there you're going to hit view from there hit this little button here hit edit and there's copy and paste once you've already copied it just hit paste it hit hit paste it you're not going to hit paste it you're going to paste it and then hit save and then from there you're good to go with the portion of making it into wix so that is all it, it took me a bit to figure out where everything was going just because it was like what am i doing where am i clicking and the one the one help topic in google didn't even put me in the right area it said wix wasn't even in it said i it actually said i did i didn't need the g to drop the g portion of it it wasn't until i fumbled around for a while that i said oh you actually can have g dash whatever and also make sure when, when you paste this in there and it, it doesn't say it here it says it's someone another forum don't put any spaces in here. Make sure it's the full thing. You've got the G dash, whatever, and then save it. So hope this helps other people. Even if you don't have Wix, go back to this other thing. Find out who, um, you know, which one you're using. And then from there, uh, just click on it. And like I said, if, if you have Weebly, for instance, for a lot of people out there that have Weebly, uh, just it's going to walk you through a very similar uh, thing. But when it says, oh, just copy and paste it, it's using it as easy as copy and paste. So Everyone, hopefully this helps you all. Uh, if it doesn't, hopefully you tuned out a while ago. If it does, let me know. And everyone have a great day. And we'll get to this wonderful J4 mess migration uh, together. All right, everyone, have an awesome, awesome rest of your day and weekend. We will talk to you all later on. Bye.